there's foreshadowing, there's backshadowing, there's side shadowing. There's, there's all sorts of wonderful moments in episode three that I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of. The episode is full of so many, you know, just Easter eggs and nuggets of, of scripture and, and references to scripture and characters from the Gospels. Um, it's, uh, you know, there's flashbacks to, to Jesus when he was a kid and I think people will really be excited about that episode. And then just to work with Vanessa as Mother Mary is like, we have this unspoken relationship like that I mean, she's younger than me in real life and but like when we get together on the scene it's like that's mom you know it's a really sweet episode because it's you know it's it's kind of uh, this reckoning where Jesus is now realizing that he probably will never be back there again so there's a there's a lot of goodbyes happening he, he's confronted by his community. Uh, what are you hearing, Leah? Oh, all kinds of rumors that you're becoming quite a popular rabbi with some having seen you speak to thousands and even perform signs and wonders. Gossip, of course, comes with it. And, you know, the phrase, a prophet is never accepted in his hometown, stems from what happens in this episode. He announces to people the, the truth of who he is. Are you claiming to be the Messiah? Or are you merely claiming to speak for the Lord as a prophet? Yes. And they, they take it very badly, uh, to the point where they literally try to throw him off a cliff. So the head rabbi, basically, you know, he's, he's at his wit's end and but he also grew up with Jesus. Like he, you know, saw Jesus grow up in this synagogue. And so he's brought to this point where he has to make a decision. According to the law, Jesus should be stoned or thrown off a cliff or, or just disposed of. And so you see this conflict within him. Your father, may he rest in peace, was a righteous man. Your mother is a good woman. We take no pleasure in the shame you are bringing to their name, nor the grief this will bring upon Mary. And for me, it's like trying to imagine what it would be like to, to grow up with this teacher your entire life, and now this teacher wants to kill you. And he's got his two henchmen standing there. Just, you do it, you know? Like, oh, do my dirty work. And they're like looking at each other like this is like this is Jesus. And just a few scenes earlier, these two guys, the henchmen and Jesus, they're playing ball. They're having a great time. And now they're confronted with this reality like this isn't just the kid they grew up with. This guy is claiming to be the Messiah. And that's that's an offense punishable by death. And in scripture it says and Jesus passed through them. And so how we interpret that, Jesus says, no, this is not gonna happen. Not today. So he kind of steps up to them, looks them in the eye, looks the rabbi in the eye, not today. And he just walks through them. And Nazareth is now behind them in the rearview mirror.